differential personalized system. How it works? When you go to the ballot box, first thing that you do is that you rank the parties. Remember that your riding has five candidates, not uh, five seats, not one as it is now. It's bigger. It's all Kitchener, Waterloo, uh, Cambridge, okay? So you rank the parties according to your preference. So let's say liberal, okay? First. <laughs> and second, like maybe green, maybe LGP, you may stop there. <laughs> <laughs> but if you are a business liberal, you say liberal, conservative, and you stop there, you do what you want, it's your business. Second thing, the party you put first, there are five, it's liberals. So there are five liberal candidates, you choose the one you want more than yours. Yes, they are in competition. That's the beauty of the system. You, you, you choose the one you want. And after you go home, no more complicated than that. Now, how you compute the result? How you translate these votes in seats? The following. First, Elections Canada, look at the first preferences of voters. So, in our case, it's liberal. Or else maybe conservative NDP. You count the first preferences. Some parties will not have enough votes to have one of the five seats. Assume a party has only two or three percent of the vote. It's not enough to, to get a seat out of five. So you take the weakest one of them and you eliminate this party. And you consider the second preferences of this party and you allocate it to the other parties. You repeat this exercise until all the parties that are in the running have received at least one seat. And then it gives you the number of seats by parties. Assume that here the liberals have two out of five seats in this system. Which liberals will have these seats? The ones that receive the more votes, personal votes, when you choose your personal candidate. And that's it. It's the way it works. It's much more simple than most political systems in the world. It's more complicated than the one we have now, but if you want simplicity, don't change. The system we have now is very simple, but the results are not very interesting for the country. Uh, why the system would be good? The one that I'm proposing, proposing P3. First, you would spread the support of the national parties more than it is the case now. You would have more liberals in the West, more conservatives in Quebec. I think it's good for the country, uh, especially more liberals in the West. <laughs> and, and second, uh, you would have uh, parties prepared to govern together more because they will try to convince the voters of the other parties to choose them as a second choice. They will discuss between themselves, can we have an agreement before the election, Mr. NDP leader, that you second choice is the Liberals or second choice is the NDP. And, and then you prepare parties to consider that they may govern alone, but they may have to govern as a coalition, but the coalition would be prepared for that, informed by the choice of the voters. That would be great for the cohesion of the country as well. Also, you would have very likely more women and, and, and more minorities, because parties would have an interest to diversify their offer in each of the five member district right. So for all these reasons, I think it would be an improvement for the country to have a P3 system. Thank you very much.